Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here for Speed Doxathon. Um, our next run coming up is going to be an incentive run that was met for Grand Theft Auto San and or I'm sorry, uh, Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars. You just saw Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Um, and just a few things about Speed Doxathon. Um, if you are interested and like what you see here and want to help us make the next event bigger and better than ever, you can support us by checking out the Speed Doc store. It has uh, sizes extra small to 5XL men's and women's fits with US and EU fulfillment centers, so you don't have to wait too long to get your order. If you'd like, you can check out the store today by going to speeddocs.com slash TV. Hurry up though, the store is only going to be available until the end of SDAT. So that's going to be limited releases, so make sure that you get things from there now. Hey, um, as far as stories from Save the Children, 10-year-old um, Camilla, her parents and three siblings left Venezuela two years ago to live in Colombia after her father, Carlos, lost a leg in a car accident. He had been a taxi driver and with the loss of his leg, he could no longer work and their main source of income was lost. In Colombia, the family moved in to live with Carlos's three brothers, two sisters, and their children, totaling 15 people sharing a single living space. Often spaces so limited, adults will sleep outside in hammocks so that children can sleep inside in the safety and comfort of the house. Camilla's auntie, Francia, lives with the family of her daughter, Marcella, who had started to show signs of malnutrition. And before Marcella, Francia lost her first child when they were nine months old. Camilla loves to help her auntie to look after and play with Marcella. Despite Carlos working in a small grocery shop and his wife weaves and selling baskets, the income is not yet enough and sometimes family members, including Camilla, will go without food. Thanks to Save the Children and your support, the family were able to get the support to treat Marcella as well as get the family cash transfers and food packages. Throughout everything, Camilla has remained positive. She wears her bright unicorn necklace her uncle gave her every day and talks about her friends around her and in school. She loves to spend time with her little cousin and helping her family. She enjoys school and always studies hard because when she's older, she wants to be a doctor to help everyone be safe from COVID-19. Thank you all again for your support to help people like Camilla. As far as upcoming incentives, after Chinatown Wars, we have my personal favorite game and a game I speed run coming up, Shadow of the Colossus, with two wonderful runners, Tic Tac and Stocky. And during their race of any percent normal, we will be doing a pet the horse incentive. So if you'd like to see uh, the horse agro within SOTC get some good, good pets, every time that we raise just a little bit of money that's going to go towards that fundraiser, I believe it's $5 per pet, um, then the person who is in the lead of the race will give Agro some wonderful pets right after the defeat of a Colossus. So if you'd like to see Agro get some pets, make sure to get those donations in during the Shadow of the Colossus run. And we have just received an anonymous $100 donation. So thank you so much for your support. And thank you so much to everyone for being here. I hope you've all been enjoying the speed runs that we've had so far. Uh, I personally have never seen a Grand Theft Auto run. So that was really, really exciting. I can't wait to see the next one coming up.
bom pra você alçar. لبنان عايشين في خيمتنا صايرة جملون عايشين فيها أنا وأمي وأخواتي وأبوي تذكر أحلامي الحلوة تذكر بيتنا كيف كان بس هلا انهدم نرجع على بيتنا ونعيش بسلام <تصفيق> لما جينا رحلنا لهون صار حالتنا ضيقه كثير انت انا رحت اشتغل بالاستيراد صار الزعران بعيطوا لي بيقولوا لي انا بعطيك مصاري وتعي معي شغل في زعران بيلطشونا بالمدرسه ما في حدا بيلطشنا في في استاذيه واستاذيات تعلمت انه نحن بهذا العمر لازم هلا بنكون على المدرسه منه نصير كبار تين عطتنا مبلغ ساعدنا الاطفال
Cartwright, everyone, and we are back with Recult for our donation incentive uh, reward that was met for a speed run of China Wars, uh, Chinatown Wars. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to you. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. And first of all, thank you so much for getting the incentive met. We are doing the shortest any percent speed run in the GTA universe. GTA Chinatown Wars, which is a game that came out for the Nintendo DS, which is already special, PSP, and some mobile platforms. And I'm currently playing on a PS TV, which is the PSP version. And I think we should get this show on the road because I got a little bit overestimate. So, we're starting in 3, 2, 1, go. So, this is the first glitch. So I just press new game, but when meshing starts, I can quickly get into the save menu before the game loads and then immediately load that save. So right now, uh, the glitch already happened and I'm not going to take the safe car. I'm going to look for a fun car. I don't see any fun cars, so I'm just stealing the taxi that's here. So what a safe glitch does is Whenever you start a new game, it initializes everything. Oh, now there's a good car. It initializes every mission you could do, and then disables everything except for the first mission. And does all the other scripts. So right now, I could technically start every mission there is, or most of them. But also, the most important one is here, which is the last part of the last mission. So. This is actually similar to GTA San Andreas, except I didn't need to do any funky stuff. I just needed to uh, save quickly enough. And all I need to do is just drive to the end. Which is almost here. If you might recognize this game, you might know the map from the GTA 4 series. They're sharing a lot of similarities, a lot of similar areas. But again, this is a this is a 2D game, so I wouldn't be surprised if it looks a little bit different. So I'm playing as uh, I forgot my own character's name, <laughs> but the the plot doesn't even matter. So I currently need to wait for Kenny. He is our police friend, and we're chasing our uncle. That's all you need to know. Eston is his name. The cop. So, first of all, there's a mandatory chase sequence, which is essentially an auto-scroller. So many auto-scrollers would believe me, after this, there are no auto-scrollers. So, fun, uh, fun trivia. In this auto-scroller, if you get some of these jet skis on the right side of you, they can shoot you. But if they spawn on the left side, they won't shoot you, for whatever reason, or you're going right. So I can just leave and be over here, and they won't. They only spawn like three at a time. So why bother? I don't even need to try and destroy all these people anymore. There's only so much damage they can do. So there's that. There's also an any percent no safe glitch category. Which I did one and a half runs of. Like, it's an okay game, but it's a lot of the same, so the game didn't stick to me. However, uh, back to the previous game, San Andreas, that game has a little bit more depth to it, a lot more glitches. So, I prefer running that full game. So, I uh, get to the left over here. This is just a lot of map and landmark remembering. Third building, this is it. Time is coming up as well. All I need to do is beat my uncle up with free kicks. If he if he hits me one time, this is, this is problematic. Or that will be problematic. And time. That was it. So, no three minutes overestimate, fortunately. And everything went well. It's really easy to lose the run to some weird inputs, but if you press circle and X together, you do some roundhouse kick and you uh, kick him three times and then it's over. 
So that's incredible. I have never seen that fast a speed run. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Yeah, no problem. All right, everyone. So we are going to be taking a break. Um, the next run coming up is going to be Tic Tac and Stocky in the Shadow of the Colossus race. So don't touch that dial. It is going to be an incredible run. And I know these runners personally. They're wonderful guys. So you'll definitely want to make sure to stick around for that.